Hi, it's Rob. Welcome to week two of the September 2022 Cloud Resume Challenge Sprint. The goal for this week is to build the back end of the web application. You'll be using AWS Lambda for compute, API Gateway to expose an endpoint for your Lambda function, and DynamoDB for a NoSQL database to store the site visits counter for your website. And your code should be stored in a GitHub repository. The recommendation in the Cloud Resume Challenge guidebook is to use the console to implement the requirements this week. I think that's a good approach for someone completely new to AWS, as it's always good to see what you're building and how the services come together, and the console is perfect for that. However, I continued on with my approach of using the AWS SAM CLI from week one to use an infrastructure as code implementation. If you're interested in seeing how to build this type of infrastructure using the console, I have a video on doing this, so I'll provide a link to it in the description below. To start building the infrastructure for this week, I added a DynamoDB resource type to the resources section in my template YAML file. I set the table name property to demo app table with an attribute name of ID, which is a string, and set the key schema key type to a hash. Then I added an AWS serverless function resource type for my Lambda function, added a DynamoDB CRUD policy bound to the demo app table, set the runtime to Python 3.8, and defined the properties for the API gateway, which Sam will create. This API has a post method on the visit route. The code for the Lambda function is in an app.py file in the demo app folder. Here I'm importing JSON in a Boto3 SDK, then I'm creating variables to hold the DynamoDB and table. In the lambda handler function, I'm calling getItem to return the current number of visits in the database. Then I increment the counter by one and then call putItem to update the value in the database. Finally, I'm returning status code 200 with the visit count in the body. Here I'm setting the course headers wide open, but you'll probably want to lock these down for your implementation. I added the appropriate permission policies, then ran a SAM build and deploy. With the stack creation complete, I could jump over into the DynamoDB table and create an item. Then go into the Lambda function and create and run a test event. And we see we have a 200 response code and the current count in the body. And finally, going over to API Gateway and grabbing the API ID I can hit the endpoint and postman, and I get a 200 response code with the incremented count. And jumping back into the database and running a scan shows our current count is at two. This week was a lot of fun for me because I really didn't have much exposure to Python or building this type of infrastructure using IAC. To adjust my lack of exposure to Python, I completed a few courses over at ACloud Guru. I'll provide links to these in the description below. And for the DynamoDB, Lambda function, and API gateway code in the template, I hit the AWS docs and found some helpful tutorials out on the web. Next week, we'll be integrating the front and back ends using Ajax, as well as get into some end-to-end -end testing. I hope you found this video interesting, and I hope to see you next week.